This is Paolo from Analytics.com giving you the performance review on the Nike Mamba Instinct. Without further ado, let's go and check out the shoe. The Nike Mamba Instinct features fly with upper. Basically, it's a performance woven upper with TP strands in the forefoot. TPU is plastic which gives more support to the material. The shoe requires some break in time like an hour or two. After this, the forefoot area is able to flex naturally. Flyweb is lightweight and it's a good move from Nike to use this kind of material in a mid-level model. I'm giving this 4 out of 5 stars. Cushioning is made up of drop-in lunar lawn midsole. There is no lining inside the footbed but you can see that there is some texture on it to give you that additional grip preventing your foot from sliding inside the shoe. This drop-in lunar lawn is lightweight and gives that perfect balance of responsiveness and impact protection. I play guard most of the time so this is a good option for me cushion wise since there will be times that you need to help crashing the boards and with my build it gives that impact protection that I need. For cushioning, I'm giving it 4.5 over 5 stars. Overall, the fit is great. Getting your real size is the key here because the shoe fits snug. I have some issues with the eyelids here because whenever I use this section, it feels too tight for me. So what I did is just skip this part. Another issue I have is this dip in the outsole. I don't know why Nike did this, but what happened to me was when I planted my forefoot on a jab step, there was no rubber to contain this section which resulted in an injury. Maybe it's my biomechanics, but I'm just giving you my experience. But overall, the support is great. The outrigger provides a wider base, and while there is no shank plate, I don't think it's necessary because your feet sits low to the ground. Your heel is secured and this is important in a low top shoe, minimizing injuries. I'm giving this 3.75 over 5. It features a solid rubber outsole with storytelling traction pattern. The pattern kinda reminds me of snake scales for some reason, while some parts were taken from last year's model which is good because that model, the Mamba Mentality 2 plays well even outdoors. Personally, I wouldn't mind if they used last year's outsole because the scale pattern used this year is softer than the herringbone sections. They still grip the floor, but for whatever reason, I would value consistency more than storytelling gimmicks. I'm giving the traction 4 out of 5. The shoe retails for 5,295 pesos and is still available at Toby Sports in Trinoma. The shoe is fairly priced in my opinion considering that they use flyweave in the upper in a full length drop in lunar lawn midsole which Nike don't usually make. Some might even consider this a better deal than the Kobe AD as this shoe is more consistent overall. I am giving this 4.5 over 5. If you are going to skip my 3 week injury assuming it's a biomechanical issue, I would say that I love playing the shoe. The shoe has a good balance of cushioning and the use of flyweave in a mid level price point is also the shoe's trend. I hope they continue this line even though Kobe is already retired because it's a great option for both indoor and outdoor use. So that ends my performance review on the Nike Mamba Instinct. Be sure to keep it locked here at analytics.com for more sneaker features and reviews. I'll see you soon.